What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and welcome back to another episode of Spin Tires Mud Runner. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be doing something that I have been slightly excited for and slightly dreading for a long time, and that is I'm starting my hardcore uh, let's play. So, this is hardcore mode and I'll show you guys what hardcore mode entails. Hardcore mode means damaged trucks struggle to steer, um, the engine power drops, the truck will stall out. Um, the thing is, also, uh, when you lock the diffs, it won't affect, uh, your, the axle that your steer tires are on. Um, also, it cannot be engaged while using automatic gearbox mode. Log stations are disabled. Mu you must load manually. Um, navigation is limited, and wheels will auto-steer, uh, towards the downhill side of whatever slope you are on. So, is it gonna be easy? No. No, hell no. It is not going to be easy at all. But we're going to try it because I never did hardcore in the first game. I never did. I never did hardcore in the first game. And uh, there were a couple of reasons for that. But we're starting out on bog, which I feel like is going to be um, a little bit of an easier one to, to begin with. But regardless, we still have to do all the watch points and stuff like that that we would normally have to do. And I am going to begin in the uh, the lifted UAZ because with this thing, at least we have um, a good, really good uh, scout vehicle to go in. You know, to go to go around the map and 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 unlock these different watch points with. And I feel like since we're playing in hardcore mode, that will help us out tremendously. Now I'm already noticing the effects of not being able to lock the diffs. Um, because when you're playing with a completely open diff vehicle, it makes it kind of, um, it makes it kind of hard. It really does make it kind of hard to use. So we're going to go ahead and go to the left because the lumber mill is right over here. But where is, do we even know where any of the, uh, lumber loading areas are? There's a logs kiosk out there and the kiosk is all we, that's all you get. The kiosk is all you get. So there's, we're going to have to get a lo either a log loading vehicle or, or use a truck with a crane and i think probably what we're going to end up doing is using a truck with a crane um and either getting probably getting a truck with a crane and doing like a medium like a medium-sized trailer um and we'll do two loads that way but i'm thinking that the i'm thinking that that'll be a better idea over using like one truck with a long log trailer and then using the other one with a crane to load the long logs i mean that might be kind of fun because it is you know it is hardcore mode and we're trying to do things as realistically as possible i mean this is as difficult as spin tires gets or spin tires mud runner sorry this is as difficult as mud runner gets so you're not really going to be getting a more difficult version of the game than this this is this is beast mode hardcore mode whatever you want to call it let me look at that map again, make sure we're heading in the right direction, which we are. Um, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and deviate from the path uh, just because I want to get to those watch points quicker. Um, but you also got to remember, like I said, damage has like heavy, heavy effects. And when I say heavy effects, I mean it really will affect everything. Um, it'll affect your ability to steer. It'll affect your power. It'll affect the entire vehicle across the board. They didn't say anything about quick winch, and I wonder if... No, quick winch still works. Okay, I was curious if quick winch still worked or not. Um, and I was thinking to myself, I was like, I was like, will they take that, will they take that out? And then I was like, ah, probably not. No, they can't take something. I mean, they could take something like that out, but I don't think they would. I don't think that would be, um, a really good idea on their parts. I mean, because... Uh, using a winch is still very realistic. I have no clue what the heck happened there. The whole truck kind of um, veered to one side and like slid, kind of drifted almost. Come on. Come on. It's almost like my steering is like jammed. Oh, I see what it what happened. We got caught on the end of that tree and then that spun us around. That happens more often than you would think, actually, to be honest. It happens a lot more often than you would think. What I need to see is where our next watch point actually is. Uh, because once we can map that out, that'll be the first thing that we take care of and handle. 
Um, let's see. We're actually about to go between two of them if we go straight. So I'm going to go to the right and we'll unlock that one first. And then we'll go to the left and unlock the other one. Um, but this is a bit of a slow go at the moment just due to the thicker mud. Um, I, I'm not sure if this way is faster or if the road is faster, uh, to be brutally honest. I, I, I feel like on one hand this, this might be quicker if, if, well, here. Here's a good way to find out. And yes, there's slight, there we go. Put it in low three, and then... Turn that back off again, and let's go. So, diff lock is on in low three, and, I mean, it, it kind of works, but at the same time, you also got to remember, we're not locked in the front. We're only locked in the rear. So, we're not really getting a massive benefit from having the diffs locked, if you really think about it. We're really only locked on one axle, which is why... I don't think this vehicle really benefits too much from it. I think really the only vehicles that benefit from it in hardcore mode are really the bigger trucks that have uh, two rear axles instead of just one. Because when you have two rear axles and you lock both of those diffs, you've got a ton of extra grip. I mean, now to be fair, something like this that has a rear locker is still going to be grippier than a vehicle that's open on both ends but it's still not going to be you know tremendously gr it's not going to be some kind of like legendary grip monster that's for sure um but we're out of the soft stuff now anyway um it looks like so oh what hard surfaces oh you know what i didn't realize that that was considered a hard surface so i thought hard surface meant like pavement but no, okay. Hard surface means, like, anything that isn't mud. Like, really, anything that isn't mud is considered a hard surface. So this, we can lock the diff, and it's not going to complain about it one bit because it's soft. That's such a weird thing for me to get used to. It, it really, really, really is. Really such an incredibly weird thing to get used to for me. Um, because I never played on hardcore in the first game. Um, I don't even, even think I ever opened up the game in hardcore mode in, in, in the first spin tires. I really don't think I ever did. Um, so for this to be the first time, um, and for them to have added, you know, so many new things and so many new, you know, challenging aspects to the game is like really jumping in at a new level for, um, you know, for hardcore mode. And a lot of this stuff really is a slow go. It is a really slow go. But when you think about it, man, when you're when you're going through the woods, when you're going through the wilderness, and, you know, for real, the, this stuff doesn't happen quickly. It really doesn't. It's not some kind of, uh, you know, in and out, boom, done process. It, it takes a while, and it takes a lot of determination and a lot of patience on the on the point of the driver, or on the part of the driver, I should say. See, turning the diff lock off didn't really change our pace at all. So I almost wonder if you would only really use it for climbing, um, you know, climbing weird hills or like rock crawling and things like that. Yeah, turning it on, turning it off does not change our pace at all. So we're still just like chugging along and that's kind of up to us. You gonna move along or what? Come on. God, this is like... It's... Oh, we gotta turn directly to the right. Apparently the watch point is over there. But where the grass is kind of like, well, for lack of a better term, like looks like dead grass, I think the ground will be, um, will be a lot more solid over there. So once we reach that, we should be able to kick the diff lock back off again and get into a lot more of a uh, quicker pace. Come on, get the front axle up. Oh, is it better? Is it better? I think it's better. Turn it off. Yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, so much better. 
All right, so now let's work our way up through here. And I want to say... Uh, I want to say it should be over on the right. Squeeze our way between these trees. Watch point is more to the right than I actually thought. Okay. So it's back over here, kind of in this, like, cove area. You know, this is making me think it would have been a lot easier to just take the road. Oh, bounced off that tree. No damage incurred from that. Oh, oh, are, are you serious? Are you serious? Okay. Um, let me let it roll back just a little bit. Just because that's a lot easier. And I'll say, too, the the whole idea of playing this in hardcore... Wait a minute, what? Where the heck? Oh, there... Wow. 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 I feel highly intelligent about n not. Wow. All right, so that's where we were meant to go all along. So all we got to do is go back there and we'll be okay. We'll be golden and totally fine so then after that we'll have one more that i want to find you know like immediately and luckily i kind of remember a little bit about what this map was like to play on on casual mode uh so it's not a completely foreign map to me but the risk the additional risk of hardcore mode always sits in the back of your head dude it, it always sits in the back of your head all right so that is one revealed so far. We've got one more to do, and it's out there, and I know it's out there, like, in the field, um, just sitting out there chilling. So I'm going to stay on the road, get the next one that's on this road, um, and then from there, we'll be, able to, we'll be able to get a much better picture of what we're looking at here. Uh, because, like I said, I want to set myself up well for this one. I don't want to get, you know, way down the road and then have to, have to like, scrap the mission because a truck went wrong or got stuck or got broken or something because it is hardcore mode. Come on, stick to the trail. There you go. Well, stick to the, like, kind of the side of the trail just because of the fact that the... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, uh, I'm going to stay left. Because it's hardcore mode, and I'm not going in there. <laughs> I'm just not going in there. It makes you think a lot more realistically. You're like, you just look at things in casual mode. You're like, oh, yeah, I'll just freaking storm that. And in hardcore mode, you're like, I ain't going in that. No, sir. I ain't touching it. So you really start to think a little bit more like you actually would if you were in this situation in real life. Now, keep in mind, there are some players and there are some people that would see, no matter what the obstacle, they look at it and they're just like, dude, I'm still going to freaking send it. Are you silly? But, you know, and I am occasionally like that. It just depends on, you know, what kind of task I'm doing. Like right now, I would really prefer to not put this vehicle, my, my favorite scout vehicle, out of commission in the very first episode of Hardcore. I would really, really prefer not to put this, like, put my favorite scout vehicle out of commission now. Now, where is my... Okay, so we're just into the Uncharted territory now. So, we should be able to just stick to a, stick to a normal road, get close to it, and then just kind of deviate from that path a little and pick that one right up. This whole strategy of staying off the edge of the road um, to avoid the deeper mud seems to be paying off. And it seems to be paying off quite well. Where is my next... Oh, wow. Okay, so it's, it's close. It's right there. It's right there. It's almost like all your years of spin tires goes into something like this. And then you get into hardcore mode. You know, you get into hardcore mode in, like, whether it be in Mud Runner or in the first game, and you're like, man, I have much to learn. I didn't realize how much I leaned on different features of the game until I got into hardcore mode. And it's like, you get into hardcore mode, hardcore, 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 
But yeah, you get into hardcore mode and you're like, man, I did not realize how much I leaned on, you know, whatever feature like XYZ. Um, but seriously, there's so many different parts of the game that you're like, if you just play on casual, you, you never realize quite what all the things you lean on until you play hardcore and you don't have those things. So there's our garage. There's our fuel station. We got two more to unlock and then the map will be technically... Um, well, discovered in terms of, of the watch points. So, those two, you know, getting those out of the way shouldn't really be all that difficult. Um, they're pretty close proximity to each other, so they should be fairly straightforward. Um, the only thing that I don't think would be straightforward about them would be if there was, you know, some kind of big obstacle in between them, which I know there's a lake out there somewhere because I remember doing the casual playthrough of this map, but since this was the first map that I played through, it has been a little while, so I haven't, you know, I don't remember all the intricate little details of the map. Um, I feel like if I had just played this map on casual and then came back to it in hardcore, it would be really easy, but at the same time, it might be a little bit of an unfair advantage in terms of going into it in hardcore um, after just playing it in casual and knowing all the routes. I wonder if I can make this. I turned the diff lock on. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy peasy. Let's see. Which one do I want to get first? Uh... Really, what I think I should do is turn left and go around that water because that water, you don't want to mess with it, man. That 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 is a swamp, and I had issues with it in casual mode. So if I had issues with it in casual mode, I'm not touching it with a 10-foot pole in hardcore. Uh, you'd just be dumb to do that. Again, you really have to think now. You have to play it realistically, and you have to like keep everything in mind uh, when you're going through these these woods now. Cut just a little bit of a right-hand turn. I'm going to use the winch to pull me through and push that tree over. Kind of a weird method, but I guess it works. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I was about to say, like, damn, bro, what are you stuck on? All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, I should have turned right. I really should have turned right, but never mind. We'll gloss over it. It'll be okay. It'll be totally okay. As long as we keep our cool and be careful. Should be good. I'm going to head to the right, take this one out first, and then we'll know exactly which one we have left to do. And you really, when you're playing on hardcore, you want to have a system to what you're doing. Because if you don't have a system to what you're doing, your hardcore playthrough is not going to go over well. Um, generally, that, that system, what I like to do in terms of that system is, um, is take, take a scout vehicle out, get the, uh, get the watch points taken care of first off, like right off the bat, get all the watch points taken care of, then start thinking about your hauling and figure out a plan for where you're going to go, what trucks you're going to use, and how you're going to go about it. Uh, let's just quick winch our way over that tree. Because that tree was wanting to tie up our axle, and that is not acceptable. Not acceptable at all. I know this road, and I know where it goes. It goes to the lumber area, which... Or a logs kiosk, which the watch point should be right by it. Like, right, right by it. Where are we looking? Where are we looking? Come on. I'm trying to think here, too, because the logs kiosk, I think, is almost directly on the road. And if the watch point is right behind it, that would make it really easy to just, you know, really easy to just go back through the woods and find. Oh. We're going to make a right right here. Oh, God. This is going to be fun. We've got, like, proper, proper woods to go through here. Just make sure I'm not hitting anything. And we're good on that. 
Ah, uh, that tree. And release. So there's our logs kiosk. Am I about to hit something? Yes, a stump. So let's say, I wonder if I can just push it over. Um, maybe not. Probably pull myself over it. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so the watch point should be kind of up here to the left. Wait, wait a wait a minute. Did I just get completely and totally bamboozled? I feel like I did. I feel like I just got so freaking bamboozled. It's not even funny. I feel like I got so bamboozled by that route. Like, oh my god, that's not, that's not even, that's not even remotely funny. God, now I'm going back into the woods again. I honestly did not remember where this one was. This was like the one that, that I, that I have no clue about. We're, we should be coming right up on it, though. Oh, it was like, uh, hard surfaces, and I'm like, thanks. Give me a little pull. I was like, little pull with the wind should be fine. There's the watch point. Okay, there's the watch point. So, if I had stayed on the road, we would have... Yeah, because there's the road right there. Wow, damn. I forgot how obvious the watch points on this map were. Like, I'm, I, I, I got used to the other maps, you know, with watch points that were, like, hidden and, you know, hidden in all these weird places. And I'm like, man... This map, they're too freaking obvious. Way too freaking obvious. All right, so we got... Dude, we've got one more. Oh, man, we've got one more. And once we sort that one out, we will be good to go. Oh, my God. Did I really just plow right into that? I, I like, speared my diff. Speared it. Like, just straight up. Just stabbed my differential. Where's my route out of here? Probably through here. Wouldn't you say? Yes, I would say. I would 100% say that this is my route out of here. God, we got that massive, like, massive field to go through, too. Because with that, you're dealing with, like, a massive wide open area where you don't know if the ground is is like is hard or if it's like you know stuff that you can sink in like packed dirt or slick mud really this winch is going to become our friend guys i'm telling you what like for hardcore mode we're, we're gonna have to play it so careful I'm going to stay along the road for as long as I can, and then once I've got a straight shot towards the watch point, I'm just going to cut to the right and just go that way immediately. Kind of just bouncing its way down the trail. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention about hardcore mode. Night is unskippable. That's right. 100% unskippable. So, when you think about it that way you're definitely playing with a lot more fire than you thought you were. Um, especially for me, because I don't, I don't really, I don't really, like, I don't really like to play the game in, in its, like, in its, you know, night mode, I guess you could say. I'm much more of a fan of playing it, you know, uh, during the day. I like the way it looks. I, I, I like the way it plays better. Um, it's just one of those things where it's like, where it's like, you, you, you want to play during the day, but it's like, oh, by the way, yeah, boy, you're in hardcore. <laughs> uh, pretty much straight, right? Oh, God, it's getting, oh, it's getting muddy already. Damn. The diff lock might provide a little bit of help, but not that much. See, look, it's auto steering down the hill, too. So you do have to counter steer it. You do have to counter steer it. And if you don't, it will go in the direction of whatever that downhill is. And I, I, I can totally see 
how if you were on a map that had a lot of steep drop-offs, that would be so freaking scary, it's not even funny. But I really want to get this watch point and, and finish off this bit of ex uh, of exploring because once we get that last one, we will have discovered all of them in the first episode. And if we can get all of that out of the way in the first episode, especially during hardcore, um, I'd be so pleased about that. So freaking, like, so freaking pleased. Stay near these trees. Oh, we're getting there, actually. Beautiful. Stay near these trees as long as I can. Where's my... There it is! Oh, perfect. Beautiful. So we're going to have this taken care of. We're going to have this 100% taken care of in the first... Um, in the first episode, all the watch points will be out of the way, done, and taken care of. Beautiful. So that was actually a really good start to our very first hardcore mode playthrough. The very first one I've ever done. Um, and again, hardcore mode is, is like, dude, explore the bog. Done. So there we go. So that's, that's all of those out of the way. Um, the rest of it, obviously, you'd have to drive it, but... Um, there's our locked vehicles, and there's a, so we, ha we do have a K700 if we want to load, uh, like a, you know, if we want to load the trucks independently, which would probably be the best idea, um, but we've got, yeah, we've got a really good game ahead of us, and I am looking forward, uh, to finishing this off in hardcore mode. I hope you guys are enjoying this, um, this series and enjoying the introduction to hardcore mode and if you are don't forget to leave me a like tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time talk to y'all later